Think Machine is a really, really cool piece of software if you are trying to generate, uh, I guess you could say, ideas for whatever project. Now, you could use this for marketing, you could use this for business, you could use this for a lot of stuff. Now, I did actually see this for an ad, and a lot of ads are actually pretty awful, but this was something that I've actually tested, and now it's in my workflows that I think is really cool. So, essentially, let's take a look at what Think Machine is. So, for example, something that I'm working on currently is a post-AGI economics framework, and this is going to help me generate ideas on what to think about. So, I'm going to type in post-AGI or post Post. In fact, I'm going to do post labor economics. And essentially, if I click generate right here, you can see that essentially Think Machine is now going to give me a bunch of different ideas. Now, the reason I like Think Machine, and it's just going to take a moment, I'm not sure how long it's going to take, but it will take a second. I had to go into another tab and then actually do this. But like I was saying, the reason I actually like this quite a lot is because it allows you to visualize everything. Now, it seems that on the back end, they seem to be using um, GPT-4. You could use Claude Opus or Claude's models, which are pretty advanced AI systems. But the thing is, is that this is something that is really, really effective. And I didn't really know about knowledge graphs to be honest with you guys until I saw a video in my recommended and then I saw this ad and I was like okay maybe I'll check them out but essentially what we have here guys is something that is so so effective at generating different ideas on things that you really didn't think about so you can see in the center we've got post labor economics and if you aren't you know familiar with what that is basically that is essentially and I don't even know how to get out of this but essentially what you can do is you can click these different ones here to see like the different connections that they have. So you can see on the left, you can click these different ones and they all have these different connections. And it's something that is really, really effective at just making you be able to generate different ideas in a vast, you know, different way. And of course, if you want to see what ideas are linked and what ideas aren't, you can see all of the interlinked ideas on the left. And then of course you can click here and then you can see them all separated. So, and then you can see like all of them linked and it's just really, really cool. So you can see right here in the middle, we've got post labor economic then we've got automation then we've got workplace Displo deployment then we've got industry industrial revolution 4.0 and career transition programs then we've got unemployment rate job market dynamics technological environment employment opportunities service industry high tech sectors this is by far genuinely guys if you are someone who is struggling with ideas i think that this is something that gives you a variety of ideas now like i said before i don't know what prompt it uses but what you can actually do is you can actually add things to it so what i'm going to add is about um AGI. So I'm going to add AGI because artificial general intelligence is a technology. So I've added uh, AGI and you can see that it shows where things are connected. Because if you don't know what the connection is between AGI and post labor e economics, this tree can actually, you know, give you this right here. So you can see right here that we've got um, post labor economics automation impact, which is the removal of jobs. Then essentially you can see that AGI, it's added these things on the end. So you can see it's added automation impact, artificial intelligence, robots and manufacturing, welfare programs. Um, and I think that that is really, really cool. To try to add artificial intelligence again, and you can see after I added artificial intelligence, it links with it to AGI, and we can see that there are certain things. So everything with the same color is uh, all kind of linked. And I think this, guys, is uh, just really 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 cool and of course you can go ahead you can just uh you can just go on many different things i think if we could find automation impact um auto in fact let me just type it in but the point is guys is that this is something that i think is really really effective at generating high quality ideas and i'll leave a link to this this in the description and this is just the trial guys so this is something you can use for free currently and guys what's also cool at the bottom of this that you've got um this right here so you can see there's 2D and 3D. So what you can do is you can click 2D. Um, if the 3D is too much for you, you can just zoom out and then you can get like a basic uh, view on how everything connects. And the reason why you might want to do 2D is you might want to do this because you might want to essentially... Um, screenshot this and then of course share this with your co-workers and then of course you can move things around and then be like okay these are the kind of ideas that we're going to be thinking about so you know it's just really cool um on how this entire works and i really think this is a uh, really really cool um you know enough glazing of the product but yeah that's a quick demo on how you can use this you can add them you can generate new ones you can search through the tree um and yeah you can use this kind of 3d visual visualization i just think this is personally really cool but um yeah let me know what you guys think and if you did enjoy the video on this, let me know what you use the Think Machine for, because I think this is something that is really cool. Um, and I think this is something that I'm definitely going to be using every single day. So with that being said, um, I'm gonna, definitely going to be using it to explore different concepts. And of course, you can generate a new knowledge graph in the bottom. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.